sugar beets, and da-da-da. Okay, basically, now we have the mass of the galactose. Now, I, I'm not sure it says, says this, says this, I could tell. This is not a Cha compound, but a Cho compound. That's right. That's going to react with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. Now, how many grams, tell me the numbers that we know, Mr. We have uh, 2.315 grams of galactose. Carbon dioxide is produced, 3.953 grams of that. And of water, we have 1.389 grams. Now, it also gives us that the molar mass of galactose is between 172 and 186, somewhere in there. And it, this asks us for the empirical and molecular formula of galactose. That's why the molar mass is given, because we need to find the molecular formula. That's where we'll formula. double it with a hand analogy. And we'll take care of that later. This right is, now, let's just yeah. focus on the combustion problem and the empirical formula. So now I'm going to do each of my elements. I have carbon, and I have hydrogen, and I have oxygen. I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I did the last one, not to just totally confuse it. I'm going to add a, one additional step, which sometimes is useful on a couple of problems I know you're going to be asked to do on your homework or your classwork. Uh, for the carbon, I'm going to work from the carbon dioxide. So I'm going to say 3.953 grams of carbon over 1. Then I say 12 grams of carbon. Um, over one mole. Now I'm going to add one more step, ladies and gentlemen, because since I know the mass of this compound, I'm going to convert this to a percentage. And then I'm going to say, well, actually, let's just do this. And so I get, uh, what is 3.953 divided by 12, Mr. Sams? That's uh, 0.329. But I want to convert that to a percentage. The total would that be moles, Mr. Burton? That would be moles, thank you. Uh, did you do something wrong, Mr. Burton? I didn't do this right. Because I want grams. Yep. Let me do the carbon again. That would be 3.953 grams of carbon dioxide. Sorry about there that, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm going to do the 44 12. grams there of CO2 to 12 grams of CO2. And I get... That gives grams. us 1.08 grams of CO of C. Of, of carbon. CO2. Now, what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen... Can you change your numerator there next to 12 there? 12 over 44? You have CO2 written. That should be C. Oh, carbon, yes, indeed. There we go. And I'm going to divide by 2.314 grams and times it by 100 to get a percentage. And so what is my percentage that of carbon? That is divided by 2.314 times 100. That is 46.6% uh, carbon. So 46.6% carbon, um, that's what I do that. I want to go to percentages, and you'll see why um, for more complex problems you need to. For hydrogen, I'm going to take the grams, or the grams of water, which is 1.389 grams of water, right? Yep. And I'm going to do the 18 grams of water on the bottom and the 2 grams of hydrogen on the top. And the terms of the total grams is 0.1. You may need to just get your calculator out, 5,4 grams, and then divide by the total mass of my compound, which is 2.315 times, times 100 to get a percentage. 6.67%. 6.67%. Now, guess, ladies and gentlemen, how am I going to get the oxygen? The problem with the oxygen, it's, if you were to try and use the method I just did, oxygen is produced in two different compounds, both the water and the carbon dioxide. So, and also in the reactants, we have oxygen in galactose and also in the oxygen. So it is impossible to get it um, in that method. Uh, Mr. Bergman? Yeah. Um, don't most percentages usually add up to 100? That's exactly correct. They add up to 100%. So I have my um, total percent, of course, is 100. That would be equal to the carbon, and the carbon percentage was 46.6 plus the 6.67, plus X, if you will. This is the oxygen. And that, if you subtract it out, the oxygen is 46.7%. Now I have percentages. Percent to mass, mass to mole, divide by small times to whole. So let's go through this here. Um, I'm going to do my carbon, my hydrogen, and my oxygen. Now my from my percentages, the oxygen was 46.7%. The hydrogen was 6.67%, 6 and the carbon was 46.6%. Now I'm going to convert. These are like grams, so I'm just going to put a G next to each of these. So I'm going to say 12 grams, uh, one mole, and that comes out to 2.9. Nope, 3.88. 3.88 moles, and this is going to be... 1 over 1, 1 gram and 1 mole. I can do that. That is 6.67 <laughs> moles. I don't even need a calculator. This is 16 grams and 1 mole. 2.92. 2.92. Smallest number is the 
So the oxygen gets a, oh, a zero. It gets a one, I can't think here, divided by 2.92. I'm going up, I don't know why, but that's where it is. Is that two, Mr. Sams, or is that a, got a fraction? Uh, Whatever. which one there? I'm, I'm sorry. Give me one of them. Okay, 3.88 divided by 2.92. Sorry, I was looking at my calculator and it was doing weird things. 1.33 on that first one there. And then 6.67 divided by 2.92 is 2.28. And then that bottom one is 1. So... This is probably a bit of a weird problem. It looks about like 3. I'm going to call that like a 3. three. So 1.33 times 3 is... Is uh, 4. 4. 2.33 times 3 is 7. And this will, of course, be 3. So this will be C... 4H7O3. This is called the what formula? That's the empirical formula. That's our lowest That's the empirical ratio. formula. So if the empirical formula is C4H7O3 and the molecular mass is equal to 172 to 186, we uh -oh. then need to figure out, what does this add up to, Mr. Sanders? That's what I'm working on right now. The empirical weight of this is equal to? 12 plus 4 plus 48 plus 7, 103. 103 grams weird. per mole. So, of course, you need to be able to double or triple it or leave it the same. And I think that we probably must have the molecular mass wrong. It must be somewhere between uh, 200 and um, 250. I think that must be a typo. That's got to be it. Must I'm be sure a typo. That's, that's yeah, the typo there. Yeah, got to be. And so um, what would you need to do to make it so it fits in that range? I would say we double that. We would need to times it by two. So the formula for galactose <laughs> is C8H14O6. And if you believe and that. And it may or may not be. We're not real sure. But we we'll think there's an error that. in our problem. But okay, but the method is the same.